welcome back to the full start ink channel for another video <laughs> as you can see this video is very different because it is a vlog we are vlogging it is officially the unofficial start to the summer it is the weekend of memorial day and i am in the house it is very cold and gloomy here in chicago i mean like maybe i'll show you a video a uh, photo I'll show you what outside looks like. It's very cold, very gloomy. So, I'm not really doing a lot because we're still in the panorama. Um, and I won't be, like, barbecuing and cooking until later the weekend. So, today is Friday. Um, it is almost 1 o'clock. I am making me some breakfast. I'm about to make me a smoothie. And then I am going to catch up on some sewing. I need to organize my sewing space. And I need to catch up on some of these projects that are not half finished projects or clothes that I need in, that I wear actively that need a little bit of mending um usually on the weekend if I am in the house sewing is usually starting a new project or finish a new project we're going to be working on some stuff that has been sitting here for weeks if not months and need to get finished um for instance some things behind me over here as well as things on my little dress form you guys know her and so we need to get some things together also some things hanging up on the door yeah i need to this is a dining room guys and yeah so that's what we're going to be doing today i am going to finish my breakfast i have some groceries coming and i'm going to make me a smoothie and we're going to sit down and we're going to sew i'm going to um answer some questions i've been seeing in the chat um as well as i'm going to reach out to instagram if you guys don't follow me on instagram follow full star inc um on ig i'm going to reach out to both my personal instagram and full star inc instagram and post um some uh some some room to create some conversation and some questions for you guys and uh, all those who follow nadia the creator to ask some questions to get to know me more and i'm going to be answering them while i sew so if you guys are interested in seeing what this video, this vlog, this is going to be the weekend vlog, stay tuned, okay? I have my smoothie. Mm. You want to know what it is? It is strawberry, pineapple, mango, blueberry with lemon and honey. Yeah, lemon juice and honey. Love that smoothie. I've been getting um really into back into smoothies lately instead of you know always getting some when I go out I've been making my own because honestly I'm in the hood and I don't know where I can get a smoothie from anywho with my smoothie I'm still drinking my smoothie I finished my breakfast my groceries came I'll put that away um I'm trying to decide where should I start so I have simple things like this that needs to be mending. You guys remember when I made this, when Full Style Ink made its official return after that long hi hi hiatus we had? Um, I have things that I need to fix, like these straps never really fit properly, so I need to find a way to stabilize them and shorten them. And then I have some, I have to reinforce some seams because I have like some holes. You know, some holes on the side thing. So I have something like that. And then this leather bustier that is similar to my denim bustier. It's the same pattern um, that I haven't finished because I just, I haven't finished it. And I need to, um, I think because I was trying to decide if it needed a zipper or not. Did I, did I want to try to put a zipper in it or not? Um... So I need I want I need to finish that. I have like the straps and everything. So yeah. And then like hemming this. Like this needs to be mended. This is my favorite crop top bustier. You guys seen this in several videos. On the front here. It needs to be sewed down. From where from me constantly putting it on and off and pulling at it, so stuff like that, just little stuff like that, and then there's some things uh, I want to rework on, like um, I have my 
my old skirts, the skirts, the first skirts I ever made, um, my first, first clothing I ever made by hand, um, these skirts, I love them, but I want to rework them to give them new life, I've had them for so many years, I kind of, um, I don't reach for them as much in the summertime, so, especially last year, because you know last year we really didn't but the summer before that I haven't, I wasn't reaching for them as much, and because I was bored with them, so I want to rework them. I'm thinking of putting a split or two splits in, in sis here. And then completely reworking this one into like a nice flowy top. I have some thoughts in mind. I will list um, the inspo, inspo somewhere on the screen of what I'm thinking of doing with this one. This one is going to be a future project. Um, so I'm not going to try to do that this weekend. If you guys want to see a video of how I rework this. Please let me know. I may make it into a short. I'm trying to do more shorts. I'm trying to do more TikToks. Follow me on TikTok at Create with Nadia. I think I'm gonna start simple. So I always do simple, then I move up to difficulty. I uh, move up in difficulty. So I'm gonna start with hemming things that needed to be hemmed. camera died the battery needs to be charged I wish I didn't know that before I started this process anywho I finished um the body suits I fixed all the holes I reinforced the um <coughs> I reinforced the straps with a bit of elastic to give them some structure I will try this on later and probably give you guys a little clip of it um that's pretty much done. I just, that was, like I said, a simple thing. I fixed the straps for my leather bustier. Um, right now, I'm about to do, like I said, something that I really been wanting to do. is that, And that is give new life to this skirt. Love this skirt. I love the material. I love the print, like I said. It, it just... I haven't reached for it in years to wear it like on purpose um so what I want to do is I'm trying to decide do I want to fix this waistband or leave the waistband as is I definitely want to sew up this side seam the side seam is still the same side seam I, I, I sewed in by hand all those years ago it's held on this much. It's, this thing's been to Atlanta with me. This thing's been to... Did I take this when I went to Cali? I don't think I took this one Cali. Anywho. So I want to do that. Um, actually, no. What I'm going to do is seam rip up the side seam. Because this side seam is going to become the first split. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. The first split. So I'm going to put two splits in it. And the sides. So it's going to be two splits going up the side. I'm going to put it on and figure out where. Oh, um, look. <laughs> I mean, if that's the only wear and tear it has on it, if we're making this back in 2014, 15, I take it. By hand, mind you. By hand. I know the waistband of the hem has been updated, but still. Um, I'm going to try this on quickly, and then we're going to get seam ripping and cutting. Cause I'm going to make this a nice, cute, flowy skirt with the two splits. The two splits down the sides of a skirt and dress is very popular right now, and I definitely want... I definitely want that in this. Oh!
I'm back. So, uh, I'm back. Just got off the call with my um, team. Had a game tonight with the team that I'm part of with my church. We had like a nice little team bonding time. So, before all of that happened, I finished the skirt. I reinforced the seam um, for that now is the back seam. I trimmed and hemmed the raw edges that were created by the splits and then I also reinforced the seam that created the waistband and as well as I added some little lightning stitches some little zigzag stitches on the elastic band um, elastic so that it doesn't be moving and bunching around itself so that is pretty much done I see this it is pouring rain in my needle. So I have this stripe um, shirt dress that I made from a simplicity pattern years ago. These are one of the projects where sizing was kind of off and crazy and I had to go back to the store and literally um, recut the front part of the fabric because the sizing was off. I don't know if I can still wear this. <laughs> I won't know until I try it on. You know, from the quarantine 15, maybe 20. Um, but there are several things I want to fix. I really want to go in and fix all of the edges. The fabric, I want to do a double, double hem to reinforce those, especially around the bottom where the ruffle is, the hemline. It is very tattered. And do some zigzag stitching to reinforce these seams because there's fraying. Um, I want to, yeah, like reinforce some seams. That's just from probably when I wore it out. Um, and then I, I think if I remember correctly, the, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what's with me in straps, especially straps and stuff that is like off the shoulder. There's always an issue. So I want to take a little bit of elastic and um reinforce these straps so they can be more um situated on me and probably do the same method i did with the bodysuit so yeah that's what i'm going to be working on tonight because i'm not going anywhere um i don't know what my friends and that they're doing um they're doing whatever they're doing with their family or with their significant other. I, I don't know so i'm in the house and I'm going to get caught up on some personal sewing projects. And yeah, so like, even, oh yeah, I remember this. I had to bring in the off the shoulders bit because it was a little too big and it was, yeah, so I have that. I wonder, I'm going to leave that and try it on and see if I need it. Yeah, so I just want to fix up all these little square pieces. And I remember... The button placket, how it just kind of stops abruptly and then it goes into the ruffle bit. I want to add um, either a hook and eye or a snap closure here so it lays flatter. I have that I have that problem. I have the same problem on the upcycle blue shirt dress that I made um, a few um, last month, a few months ago. Um, where the button placket just kind of ends but it's still the shirt dress still continues and I want to fix that. So... Yeah, I'm going to, some of the stitching look really good and some of the stitching look like, <laughs> you know, like, like this. Some of the stuff look like, ooh, I look like a professional and then some of the things look like, girl, was your machine sawing like a, 
I just love how this look. I, I was so I was so proud of myself when I finished this. That part, ooh, and the sleeves. Oh my goodness. The sleeves looking so good. These need a good pressing now. I'm going to finish the edge. But when I did the sleeves, I was so proud of myself for using the bias tape to create a channel and then putting in the elastic. Oh, I was like, I am a sewing goddess. So I definitely want to get this back to the pristine cleanness that it was before so that I can definitely wear it again because I only wore it that one time. Yeah, I only wore it that one time when I went to Jazzin in the Shed, which is a summer thing they do here in Chicago where there's multiple like live jazz bands throughout the Shed Aquarium. So you can go in, see the exhibit, there's, there's bars, there's food, and there's live music. So... o'clock i spent the morning just relaxing a bit um cleaning and straightening up my room on the phone with a friend of mine that is in town we're planning to go get some food and some drink later so yeah so last night i finished off with finishing the blue um striped dress and I want to get into two things today and try to get as much done before mm, 6.30 as possible because my friend is coming at like 7. Then I have a simple 
Fix, which is this sheer maxi floral um, maxi skirt, which is more of an overlay situation. I could wear it over shorts um, or another skirt. And so I want to fix the hem. I want to fix the split. I just, I don't like when the fabric frays and you get all these little, little bit, these little fray little ends. So I want to fix that. I was going to try to figure out a better hemline. I don't know what I was doing when I made this. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I just didn't put elastic through it. And, uh, I don't know. But I may try to problem solve this hem or I may just leave it alone. But it's just a sheer wrap overlay little situation. And I just want to fix it so that it looks better. So it just, you know, it looks and lays better. Yeah on for the next few hours and then I'm going to get dressed just simple going to get drinks and possibly some tacos with my friend who I haven't seen did I see her this year? did I see her all in last year? dang I, I haven't seen her in uh, possibly over a year yeah yeah so I see like just fixing my stitches yeah, wonky that is. 